Okay, so the first question for Chloe is, if you could be an eternal superhero, what would your name be and what superpowers would you have? I have a very easy answer. People ask me my whole life, what superpower you want? I want to fly. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's Team Icarus all the way. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Eternal <laughs> offers two big fucks oh, for yeah. the MCU. Um, it has its first openly gay superhero as well as its first deaf superhero. Lauren, how does it feel to be the MCU's first deaf superhero? Well, it's definitely an honor. At first, I did feel a little um, overwhelmed and scared because I thought, really, me? Uh, can I do this? And, you know, I just saw myself as a regular mom, you know, you know, a former teacher, a runner, but a superhero for sure. Uh, I think that at first that idea was a little overwhelming. And how, like, how do I portray and represent so many different communities, you know, as a deaf, black, Mexican, Mexican woman, I wanted to actually show and do a great job and reflect every single person. And then I realized, wait a minute, the best thing that I can do is just tell my story as Lauren and hope that that resonates with someone out there. And so far I have found that a lot has, that much has happened. Yes. When it comes to representation, what changes do you both hope to see in the industry and how important was it for this film to have such diverse representation? Well, first of all, I love just watching this woman, you know, direct. I wish you could see her standing there with, you know, all these people standing around them, most of them men, and all just doing things that, you know, she's asking of them. You know, she definitely stood there as the boss. And I think it was very empowering to be able to work with, you know, the diverse cast. And I want to see more of that happening behind the scenes also. Seeing more representation within the writer's room, more representation within the hair and makeup trailer. Because I feel like once that happens, representation on the screen will be more authentic. Of course. Um, also, what does being a feminist mean to you? Uh, being a feminist for me does not mean that I don't like men. I just, that's a very important thing to separate. We actually love men. Um, being a feminist means for me to, to have the strength to embrace my femininity, to be proud of it, to respect and work alongside with men, and to see the femininity in them. To be open enough to acknowledge that there is a vulnerable side in all genders, in everyone. And I think that is a true feminist for me. Thank you for having me. And yeah, it was lovely to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Bye -bye. very much. Second. Thank you.